Hey guys, happy Monday. We are starting week five and today we're going to wrap up symmetry. We started that at the end of last week. So today is the last day we're going to be learning about that and I have a book to read to you called Let's Fly a Kite. I hope you're excited. Let's fly a kite. Ring, ring, the doorbell rang one windy Saturday. Hannah and Bob raced to the door. There stood Laura, their favorite babysitter, with her dog, Ralph. Hi, kids, Laura said. Anyone want to fly a kite today? Yeah, yelled Bob and Hannah. Okay, but we'll have to make one first, Laura said. Hannah and Bob watched as she cut a large diamond shape out of white paper. They heard their parents open the back door. We'll be back late this afternoon, called their dad. Laura, there's a picnic basket on the kitchen counter. Bye, shouted Bob and Hannah together. Before we put this kite together, we have to decorate it. What do you think it should look like? Laura asked. Let's decorate it with waves and whales, said Hannah. We should paint it red and with a lightning bolt down the middle, said Bob. I know, said Laura. I'll draw a line across the kite so you two can each have a part to decorate. The bottom part's bigger, said Bob. I'll draw, draw my lightning bolt there. Hey, cried Hannah. That's not fair. Bob's part is bigger than mine. I have a better idea, said Laura. They watched as she erased the line and drew a new one. If I draw the line down the middle, both sides are the same size and shape. Now go to it. Markers, glitter, glue, and crayons flew everywhere. When they were done, Laura showed them where to put the supports in the string. Now, who wants to try it out at the beach? asked Laura. I do, Bob shouted. Me too, said Hannah. Laura put the kite and picnic basket in the trunk of her car while Hannah and Bob climbed into the back seat. Ralph always got to sit in the front. They were off to the beach. Bob, you're hogging the whole back seat, complained Hannah. Well, you were hogging it before, Bob said. Hey, hey, said Laura. There's enough room for both of you back there. While they waited at the red light, Laura used her finger to draw an invisible line right down the middle of the seat. Now, both sides of the seat are exactly the same, she said. And if I hear any more arguing back there, Ralph and I might eat the entire picnic ourselves. The rest of the ride was quiet. Before they knew it, they were at the beach. Who's hungry? asked Laura as she took out the picnic basket. Me, yelled Hannah. Me too, said Bob. I'm starving. Well, at least you guys agree about something, said Laura. I've got two picnic blankets here, one for Ralph and me and one for the two of you. Why don't you go ahead and spread yours out? They unfolded their picnic blanket and Bob sat down. Hey, leave some room for me, cried Hannah. Here, I'll make a fold down the middle. Now both of your sides are the same, said Laura, leaning over the blanket. Those sides look the same, said Bob, but they're too skinny. What if I fold it like this, said Laura. The sides are the same this way, too. Perfect, said Hannah, as they sat down to eat at last. Laura peeked back inside the picnic basket. Looks like there's one banana and honey sandwich left, she said. Who wants it? Me, shouted Bob. No, me, shouted Hannah. Let's see, said Laura. I'll cut it this way so you can share it. But that way, the sides aren't the same shape, and somebody gets a bigger piece, said Hannah. Okay, okay, said Laura. How about this way, then? Looks good, said Hannah. Tastes good, too, added Bob. When they were finished, Laura pulled the kite out of the trunk and shouted, Let's fly a kite. I want to fly it first, said Hannah. No way, said Bob. You'll need to work together if you really want to make this kite fly, said Laura. Bob, you hold the kite above your head and let go when I tell you, Laura instructed. 
Hannah, you take the string, and when I say run, start running as fast as you can. I'm ready, said Hannah. Me too, said Bob. Run, shouted Laura. Bob, let's go. Ralph barked and raced Hannah down the beach. For a moment, the kite hovered just above the ground. Let out more string, Hannah, called Laura. The kite started climbing high into the sky, but a few minutes later, it suddenly dove toward the ground. Go and help. Laura shouted to Bob. Bob caught up to Hannah, and she tossed him the string. They sprinted down the beach until the kite was flying high into the sky once more. Bob and Hannah took turns making the kite swerve and dip. They even let Laura have a turn. You're a pretty good kite flying team, Laura said. Bob and Hannah grinned as they watched their kite soar far out over the ocean. I hope you enjoyed reading that book as much as I did. So in the book, Bob and Hannah made a kite. So that's exactly what you're going to do today. You're going to make a kite. So what you need is a sheet of paper. This is just a regular size sheet of paper. So what you're going to do is we're going to fold it in half hot dog style. Okay. And then unfold it. And you're going to fold it in half again this way, but not all the way down, just a little ways down, you're going to fold it again. And then when you unfold it, you're going to have kind of a cross on your paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut from there to there, and from here to here, and here to here, and here to here. And what you're going to get when you cut those areas is a kite, okay, a kite shape. So what I want you to do is once you cut your kite out, I want you to make a design on your kite that is symmetrical. And as we learned in the story, a kite does not have symmetry this way because when you fold it down, it's not the same on both sides. But the, the line of symmetry in a kite is right down the middle like that, okay. So when you're doing your design on your kite, when you fold it, it needs to match on both sides, okay? So you're going to design your kite to be symmetrical. You can use glitter, glue, tape, whatever you have at home, markers, that's all I had, and that's okay. And you're going to design your kite, take a picture of it, and post it on Schoology for your teacher to see. Have fun!